My name's uh, Tom Samani and uh, I've been a coach now for uh, going on 35 years, a little bit more. Um, went straight in from being a professional player and then straight on to the coaching bandwagon. He's from Glasgow. Uh, my family's from just outside of Glasgow, so we have that in common. He's a Celtic fan, I'm a Celtic fan. I don't want to say that's the reason he first selected me to have a go in the Aussie team, but hey, could be. I don't think it, it definitely helped, that's for sure. He's a very funny, very funny man, very funny cheeky. He's been over the house a few times of late, so it's been, it's been nice to sort of see Tommy and his wife Alison um, come and meet my family and over the last couple of years. Um, but again, just one of the greatest characters of, uh, of football. And I'm certainly very grateful for our relationship, certainly going into the you know, 2001 uh, WSA championships was very important for me. Honestly, my first memories of him was just looking at him thinking, what are you saying? Um, <laughs> to this day, I still don't understand him sometimes. He's, he's Tommy, he's like just a chilled out guy, loves his crosswords and um, created an environment where everyone felt comfortable and yeah, able to be themselves. When I turned up to write about women's football, I kind of came out of the blue. I didn't get to play as a kid, so I hadn't come up through any of the club ranks. And Tom Samani was as trusting and as generous as you could possibly be. So the number of times, particularly when I was doing social media for them, Tom Samani trusted us implicitly and every time I asked him to do something, he said, yes, no problem. Where do you need me? What do you need me to do? Tommy's an unsung hero because he, he always believed in giving younger players an opportunity and he was really good at mixing in the younger players with the experienced players. He's just the most probably laid back man that I've probably ever met, um, but also randomly and weirdly gets the job done and you learn and you develop as a player, even though you, know, you might not think you are. I don't think people realise how much he put into the women's game overall, so he definitely deserves to be an unsung hero of the Matildas. So not only was he national coach, but he would be constantly going around and to different states and different associations and different clubs even, and just to support the women's game at all different levels. He used to do this thing, go bump, or just bump. Or the other thing was, right, if it's in danger, wooshka. You need to, like, so the two things, it was either wooshka or bump. <laughs> and, and then he said, then you earn the right to actually get the ball down and play. He is so generous and so down to earth and so helpful. He set the tone in the way that the team conducts itself and he set the tone for women's football in Australia in a lot of ways. The faith that he showed me throughout his time as the head coach, um, something I'll always be grateful for. Look, I think the funniest memory I have of Tom is all of the goalkeepers were injured and he decided to put on the gloves and go and goal. And it was in Russia for the Youth World Cup and I have photos of it. And he was diving around everywhere. And I was like, this is our national team coach, head coach, diving around um, for the under-19s tournament. I think where the Matildas are today, um, they are a lot, or the Matildas, um, brand and I guess how big that name has become, a lot of that is due to Tom Samani and his long tenure with the team. He just cared about the players both as people and footballers and um, to be able to get the best out of the, the group of players that he had, um, yeah, I think he's an unsung hero. Tommy was always very open if you thought you should be starting and he was always really honest and transparent and I think they're two traits that I really respect in a person and um, really appreciate. I mean, his jokes are terrible, so I'm not gonna thank him for those. Cannot thank him, he's got the worst jokes in the world. But um, yeah, just thanking Tommy for, for just being an absolute legend. You know, I, I just consider myself extraordinarily fortunate to have been around, um, obviously to be a coach for as long as I have, but also to have been around the Matildas at some really significant times in their history and be part of a group that have been absolutely phenomenal to work with.